Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a product called the Angel View Mirror, which is an as seen on TV product. It's a rear view mirror for your car that snaps over your regular mirror and supposedly offers you a 160 degree panoramic view that eliminates blind spots. But does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. First up, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. All right, let's take a closer look. I paid 20 bucks for this from the Bulbhead website. This is how it came. I got no retail packaging for this one, but it does look nicely bubble wrapped, so let's crack it open. Interesting. They say, do not install on mirrors more than 3.1 inches or less than 2.2 inches tall. It looks like I have, there's some levers here that can help attach it. So to install, you place the spring-loaded clips around your existing mirror, then pull up. So this is what they're showing. And that's pretty much it. Very minimal instructions. Now it is on Amazon. There's a, it has a pretty unimpressive 2.9 star rating. The first time I checked it, it was 2.6. So I guess it's gone up since then. But the claims are that it's a wide angle mirror that eliminates blind spots, 160 degree panoramic viewing, installs in seconds by snapping over the rear view mirror. Spring loaded rubber feet keep it in place. A lot of people say it either didn't fit their mirror or that it would not stay in place. Hopefully I can fit it in my car so I can test it out. So let's go out there right now and see what happens. Now I should point out the website states that the angel view was 12 inches wide. It's not. I measured it about 11 and a quarter inches. The glass is only 10 and a half inches. It is wider than my regular mirror, but it's not 12 inches wide. To install the angel view mirror, all you do is snap it over your regular mirror. Now, a lot of people on Amazon were saying that was kind of a problem for them. Some people said it was too snug. Some people said it was falling off. Fortunately, for my testing purposes, it actually stayed in place. Time for the moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. Now, you're supposed to do it from the bottom up, allow these springs to kind of grab into place and then stretch it upward and hopefully click. Hopefully click didn't click. Let me try it again. And they say there's going to be a click. There's no click. I mean, it's on there. Ugh, not very well though. Eek. One more time. Third time's a charm. All right, push up. No click. It's barely on there. Just barely hanging on. These rubber feet were kind of in the wrong place. Let me try it again. Fourth time's a charm. I think that one, that felt better. That felt better. Those feet were pushing down. So I think that actually feels, I don't want, I want to say secure, but more secure. So during my installation, I did notice a problem that could be an issue for some people that had problems in the installation. The rubber feet on the top clip can actually slip out of place and prevent it from a snug installation. All right, let me show you the issue I had installing it the first couple times I tried until I realized what the problem was. First thing you're supposed to do is hook these spring-loaded feet on the bottom and then push it over. The fixed clips have a rubber foot in there that supposedly helps it stay in a place. The problem is when I pushed up against my mirror, those were going down and actually creating a barrier, making it less stable, less secure against my mirror. So once I made sure these were in place, it seemed like it held much better. To test out the angel view mirror, what I did was took it to an empty parking lot to hopefully show you how it looks from my perspective through the angel view and my regular rear view mirror. All right, so I've kind of positioned the camera looking in the mirror about the same angle that I look into it. I've got the angel view mirror in place. I've also got a GoPro here looking about the same angle, looking to the side mirror. So let me see if the blind spot's actually eliminated or not. Right in the center of the car, I'm going to move left and see how much you see of me. I'm going to keep moving. Left to right. Do you see me? Do you see me in the angel view? Do you see me in the side mirror? On the passenger side. Do you see me over here? I don't have a GoPro on that side mirror, but do you see me in the angel view? About right here is where a car would be in your blind spot. Do you see me in the angel view? Do you see me in the side mirror? You probably see me in the side mirror. Let's try it now without the angel view. Starting from the rear of the car, moving left to right. Do you see it in the rear view mirror? Now my dirt is dirty. All right. In the blind spot, moving forward. Moving backward. So if you compare the two of those, the angel view is in fact wider than my regular rear view mirror. So at this point, the angel view is looking pretty good, right? Well, maybe when parked and no one's in the car, but in a real world situation, not so much. All right, because I've heard so many stories in the, in the Amazon comments about this falling and potentially shattering because it is made of glass, 
I, I put a pillow down here for when I'm driving because I, I don't really trust it yet. I mean, it's on there, but how sturdy is it? We shall see. All right, well, as I'm driving in this, it, it, I don't really feel like I, I have my blind spot eliminated. I, I can see a little bit wider than my rearview mirror, but it's definitely, I still have blind spots. When I'm looking in the side mirrors, I see much more. Not only that, but my head kind of blocks my view on the left side, and the headrest from the passenger side kind of blocks it on the right side. So even though the mirror is wider, all I'm seeing is more headrest and more of me. I don't feel like my blind spot's completely eliminated. I really don't. I see more inside the car. Actually, the back seat is very clear. I can see the back seat very well. Blind spots, not so much. I mean, the good news is that it hasn't fallen off. And, this, and I've hit some speed bumps and I'm just driving at normal speed, so that, that's good at least. I can already tell at, minutes into it that there is no elimination of blind spots. I see more of myself, more of the back seat, and more of the passenger headrest, and that's it. I mean, maybe it'd be good for an Uber driver, as you can see the back seat better, or you know, parents in an SUV, you can see your kids more easily. That's th those instances, yes. The only way I can see my blind spot in the mirror is if I move this way where I can see it, and that way if I can. But I might as well just look at my side mirrors and that's the case. It feels like this is a little bit more awkward than just looking at my side mirrors. I don't know. Well, here's a good, here's a good situation. I've got a truck in my blind spot. Here it comes. All right, I don't see it in the angel view mirror anymore, but I see it in my side mirror. I see it clearly in my side mirror and it's kind of disappearing behind my head in the angel view. So I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's eliminating the blind spots. So after driving around for a bit, what kind of occurred to me is when you look at the Angel View commercial, they show the mirror looking out the back kind of from the mirror's perspective. And what occurred to me after driving around is that they don't show any headrests from their perspective. When you throw in a driver in the driver's seat and a passenger or a headrest in the passenger seat, those blind spots return. This is pretty close to what I'm seeing when I look through the rear view mirror. As you can see, my head is kind of blocking the blind spot on this side and the headrest is blocking it on that side. So really you're not gaining much even with a wider panoramic view. A few more items to consider. If you have one of those sensors in your rearview mirror that will dim it at night, you'll lose that function with the angel view. If you have any buttons on the front of your rearview mirror, you'll probably lose access to those too. And a few notes about the Angel View website. First of all, it states that this offer is not on Amazon. The product's available on Amazon, but their TV offer is not. They say it's a US-based company. The product is made in China. They also state 100 million satisfied customers. Well, they're talking about Bulbhead, the company itself, also known as Telebrands, which has been around for something like 40 years. 100 million people have not bought the Angel View mirror. So in the end, I would say the Angel View does in fact offer a wider view than the typical rear view mirrors. And in my case, it does seem to stay in place pretty well. But in my opinion, it does not eliminate blind spots. And don't just take my word for it. Another news station recently did a review of it and they came to the same conclusion that it does not eliminate blind spots. It does offer a nice panoramic view of your back seat, which in some situations could be ideal, like for parents wanting to keep an eye on their kids, Uber drivers who have passengers. But if you have any bells and whistles in your existing mirror, you'll probably lose those with the angel view. My final conclusion is that the angel view does not eliminate blind spots and is not superior to fish eye side view mirrors. But if you've used the angel view, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.